Today is Harold Borger's birthday, Jay Borlecki. And so before I meet him for lunch, I need to make myself a little bit more presentable. Shave up the old beard and get myself ready for such a prestigious day in the calendar. All right, let's go prepare ourselves for Harold Borger, for Harold's birthday. I want to have shave. I'm staying in Hindi. Are English name alum? No. Are Hindi at the? Are kya? Shaving mangta. Shaving karlo? Ah. No, yeh nee. Mujhko mangta trimming. Trimming, cut, cutting mangta. Cutting mangta. Ah, okay. Okay, possible. Acha. Aaj mere sabse acha dost birthday party. Ah. Mujhko sundar mangta. Ah, sundar. Okay. Camera dekhe dhoonge. Dekhe bhai inka cutting wala baat dali first class ka banao. First class. Okay, I believe you. In India, people like to cut their hair and, well, not everybody, of course, but many people just cut their hair and their shaves on the streets. People set up these small shops and um, they just cut it on the street on their way to work, on their way back to work. I like it. I have much more shaving, much more trimming. Okay, I trust you. Alright, I've had my shave, now I need to go and buy a little something delicious for the birthday party we're about to have with Harold. Let's go and find a cake shop and buy some, I don't know, maybe some Indian sweets or something. Should be something along here. It's my friend's birthday today, so I want to buy him a little slice of birthday cake or something. A little bit of cake. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Bye bye. All right, we've got the birthday cake. What's next? Does he need some flowers? I don't think so. Are you by yourself? Balloon help, Kabas. Balloon. Come on. Balloon help. What's that? No camera. Anyway. <laughs> it's very good for health. Ah, yeah? yeah? Good exercise for the lungs. Yes, if you ask doctor, yeah. my doctor's given to my father at least blow 10 balloons every day and give it to children. <laughs> really? For, the, for last year, he has uh, some heart problem. And this helps? Yeah, it's a compulsory. Every day he blow 10 balloons. It's okay. compulsory. I'm going to celebrate my birthday every day then, just to be healthy. <laughs> and I have one more question. How to say happy birthday in Hindi? Janam Din Mubarak. Jedam Din Mubaraku. Yes, Janam Din Mubaraku. Jedam Din Mubaraku. Right. Something like this. Namaskar. You want to come to a birthday party? She doesn't want to come to a birthday party. I've got a cake, I've got a balloon. Now let's go and celebrate in Bombay's finest shopping centre. Namaskar, Advisor. Yes. Here, cake, you know. Okay. Cake. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Thank you very much. When you visit expensive places in Mumbai, there's a lot of security. So when you go to malls and things like this, you're always being frisked and checked for weapons or whatever else they're looking for, I don't know. But we're okay, we're in. We're now going to go and find the restaurant and hopefully the elderly Harold Boulder, I'm not going to tell you how old he is, that would be very cruel. 42. Um, the elderly Harold Boulder will be waiting for me, hopefully. It seems that Harold is late, which is very un-Scandinavian of him. But no problems, because all these people here have come to see him. Look, all his subscribers have come out for the birthday party. Everyone's here. You here for Harold? Yeah? Cool, me too. Everyone's here. Look at all the people. I see the birthday boy in the distance. 
Mr. Boulder! Is he ignoring me? Mr. Boulder! I think he is ignoring me. Mr. Boulder! Ah, Mr. Hey! How's it going? Happy birthday! There's a balloon for you. Well, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Look who turned out. Everyone came out to wish you happy birthday. Great. And um, this is something for a little bit later. But our favorite restaurant, which is called F. Just F. Called Farsi Cafe. Called Farsi Cafe. Hey, you had a shave. You look 10 years younger. Do I? Yes. Yeah, I had a shave, especially on behalf of your birthday. All right. I wanted to buy a shirt Let's as well. Let's go celebrate. Woo! Getting older. Yay! How old are you? 42. Uh, 12. I am 12. Don't believe him, don't believe him. He's, um, he's almost as old as me, and I'm quite old. Well, our restaurant seems to be closed. What are we gonna do? Wow. Would you like a pizza instead or something? No, no. I would like a... Burger King? There's Why a Delhi Heights up there, there's another place up there. Why is it closed? I don't know, but it doesn't seem to be happening. Let's find out. Our favorite wait is here. Hey, what time you open? 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock? Yeah. That is outrageous. No. McDonald's opens at 11. <laughs> it's his birthday. I've come here to celebrate my birthday. Unbelievable. Okay. See you at 12. Well, that was a bit disappointing. There are other places. Let's have a McDonald's call. Let's have a McDonald's. McDonald's. Yeah. I feel this party is not quite getting off to the start that I was hoping for. McDonald's Coke. Oh, but he's happy with the balloon. But he's happy with the balloon. It is a success after all. Because you turned the camera, you were filming that way. I was going to race past it and continue down there like, ooh, celebrating my birthday. I messed up. Let's do it again. Let's pretend I didn't no, realize. No, it doesn't work. No, let's do it again. Up my shop, man. Let's do it again. Why do you always ruin my shop? Let's start again. So anyway, uh, the no, birthday... I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Harold's unhappy. What's happened? Got a bad attitude at McDonald's. Doesn't take much to make Carol pissed off. What was the bad attitude? I don't know. Now I'm sad. It hasn't turned out to be the ideal start. The restaurant we wanted to go to was closed. It's horrendously hot. The people weren't very friendly at McDonald's. And I'm almost crying. And Harold's not happy about something. I don't know what happened. Harold went off. When I went for a shave, Harold went off by himself to the railway station. And I want to know, I want to get to the bottom of what happened. So he went off in such a jolly a mood. Moral hangover after that railway trip. He was skipping down the street, having a nice time. So full of happiness and birthday blue, birthday, birthday happiness. And now look at him, just something happened. Moral hangover. Maybe over lunch we're going to find out. He's going to tell the full story of what has happened. That's it. Hello. <laughs> Balloons and selfie sticks. You think that we're the two most impressive men they've ever seen? That was approach fail. <laughs> One of the things that um, I find really difficult in India, and I think Harold would agree that he finds it difficult too, is that when you go to a nice restaurant, a nice restaurant, they pump the air con up to such a high level that you're literally freezing here, you're shivering. It's probably minus two in here. It's freezing in here, it's unbelievable. And so we've had to open the window here and sit by the window just so we can let some warm air in. Um, other people don't seem to mind, but you've got this freezing cold air hitting on cold air hitting onto you and um, that's the only time that we get ill in India. It's nothing to do with our stomach, our stomachs are fine, but from the cold air con we, we get ill all the time. So we try and avoid these places as much as possible. I mean this is incredible. This is like being in the Arctic. Alright, we've got our Jaeger bombs. So um, the first drink of the day. How do we drink it? We're gonna have to take this glass out. Take the glass they out. Have a, they have a Oh I see, okay. Been kind of original in the way that they have served us the Jaeger These places always try and be fancy instead of keeping it simple. All right. Cheers, dude. Happy birthday. This is content creation. Thank you. Wait, do it in one go? You sir? Sure? So I check out this guy. So For two Jaeger bombs, we got VAT, service charge 7, VAT, rupees off, 0.32. Net, I've got it. 1300, so I got it. Yeah. 1300 for two Jaeger bombs. Oh, Jesus God. <laughs> more than you pay in London. It's more than our dinner yesterday, and that was really good. At the wine rack, they have ladies' nights at unlimited cocktails for women. 
So if you're a single lady looking for love in Mumbai, you should come and check out Wine Rack. I told you we should have transitioned. Damn. Unlimited cocktails. Oh, I thought you were called in here yesterday. What is this? <laughs> how, how do you survive it? Hi. Look at our fancy drinks in Mumbai. Look, we're having mojitos. Let's try. Do you reckon it's going to be a good one? Yes. Cheers, dude. Happy birthday. Thank you. Once again. It's not bad. At least there's some alcohol, unlike our uh, Jager bomb. Good mojito. You can actually taste the alcohol. A lot of time when you have cocktails, they don't put any alcohol in, but it's a good one. I like it. It's actually a cocktail. Yes, no. not a mocktail. Nothing worse than a mocktail. It's not a King Femur mojito. I miss the King Femur. The King Femur has grown on me since that. Uh... Well, yeah, we were naive in those early days of King Femurs scams. Now we would know how no, to I'm recognize into the it. King Femur. Yeah, you want another one? Yes. Yes. I haven't seen a King Femur since. No. Do you think they were just peculiar to that one road? Yeah. Any of you guys um, ever tried a King Femur? I'm sure you're all wanting to. <clears throat> I'm sure you've been on Harold's channel and seen the um, the beer scam that we were subjected to on one of our first nights in India. Yes, at uh, the uh, Islamic bar beer. There were goats outside. It was non-alcoholic beer. Yeah, uh, that should have been the giveaway. Yes, Why did we yes, think did. an Islamic well, bar we, would ever give us alcohol? We were newbies. Now we're, we're experts. You see, that's what happens when you're first like few days in the country. Of course, you don't know what's going on, and you kind of you trust people. And um, yeah, we were novices to India. Even myself, who lived here before, I was still being out of the country that long that I kind of like forgotten all the things to look out for. And so we fell into the famous King Fema scam. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how we're going to end this one. <laughs> All right, we'll just let it die down, naturally. We'll let it die a, a slow death. We need death. to get our alcohol. Uh, oh, wait, there, but here comes the food. Check this out, guys. Okay. Look what a fancy place I'm bringing you to today. Butter chicken. Look at that. It's this meal that has caused my belly to explode on Thank this you, journey sir. through India. Thank you. Butter naan. But it's been worth it. It's a good meal, right? It, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I think with, uh, with food like this, I mean, if I actually lived in India, I probably would be 100 kilos. Yeah, so Indian food is very more, it's the sauces that make the food, I think. Um, There's no way around it. Butter chicken is definitely one of our favorite meals here. Um, we've got two favorites. We've got um, aloo tomato and butter chicken. Our two favorite meals in India. I'm sure this isn't how um, most Indian people would eat their meal, but um, it's how I like it. And I think that when you come to a country, you should, um, you can eat how you want to eat. So I can mix my butter chicken with my rice and then, oh, wrong hand. And then um, use a naan to um, pick it up. I know a lot of people have been saying, hey man, don't mix your, don't mix your, naan with your rice and with your curry but hey if i like the flavor like that why not what's wrong with doing that right mm, good food here good food what is how much is the bill does it actually work no the bill is 2252 2252 it's all right it's my treat that's like, no, my it's birthday. your birthday don't you see hey my birthday meal i'm paying you pay the cocktails oh it's okay i insist i'll pay my share get something else later I'll get the alcohol. Sorry? Not working? Uh oh. This one. Thank you, Razor. Oh, this feels good. Right, oh, back out of that freezing cold air conditioning. This way, this way. Onto the street. Thank God, let me feel that warmth from my body. All right, next stop on your uh, birthday. Uh, I'm ruining your intro here. This is the Harold Boulder birthday liquor store hunt. Let's do it. Let's look for some Desi vodka. No King Fema. We want real alcohol. You deserve it. Desi vodka, who is it? Desi. Desi vodka. Desi vodka, not it. No. No bad. What are we going for? What this guy has? That's the Desi vodka. What is it? 
Desi. 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 Aqui é a Desi Neia. Desi Aqui é a Desi Vodka Neia. Let's not die. Let's get something proper. E aí, Desi Vodka? Desi Vodka. And Desi Vodka wrapping. The most important vodka of all. Right, we got our Desi Vodka. Wow. Hey, it's my birthday. I'm going. Now let's go home. Oh, my up, up, This up. is the best rope puller in all of India. Namaskar, sir. Kesa, Tiga. Nice to see you again. Look at the skills in this man. Look at that. Wow. He's the best rope guy in Mumbai. Come on, Jana. Where are you girls going? We're going to come up to a party in our apartment. Are a name manka. Quite bad. Going up to um, Boulder and Boulder Towers, the most desirable apartment in Mumbai. All right, guys, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the Bald and Boulder apartment. This is the sofa, also known as my bed. Table in the lounge. We've got a. We've got here a, a we've got here a, a balcony with a view of the city. Look at that lovely view. And then some modern art, some modern Indian art. And you come through here to the birthday boys. Well, let me turn the fan off so it's not so noisy. How do I do that? There we go. We come here into Mr. Boulder's bedroom. He hogged the bed. He got the bed, so I'm on the sofa. I think really he should defer to me because of my elder my elder, the fact that I'm older, that's what I want to say. He's even got a view from his apartment. Should we check out the bathroom and the kitchen? You want to see what it looks like here? Here's our kitchen, some beer bottles from the night before. This is what an Indian kitchen looks like. And finally, the bathroom. There you go. That's what our bathroom looks like. And all this for just 700 USD a week. So um, I think we, we were scammed, basically. Bargain. We were scammed. Bargain.